What's going on guys? My name is Jake and in this video I'm going to be starting a new series uh, called um, Redstone Creations. Uh, this isn't going to be a regular series, this is going to be just random mod videos. Uh, this might end up being my 200,000th review video maybe. But uh, what we're going to be making today is an automatic melon and pumpkin farmer. Or farm, should I say. So, um, I've created this just to show you how it works. I'm going to make a prettier one over here somewhere. Now, the way that this works is this can be connected to either to a button or a lever, or I've just done this so you can walk, and it does both of them. You know, because it requires a load of redstone to make one lever and button work both sides, and you might need a repeater. If not, you can just have a button on each side, it's no matter. Um, I'm not quite sure how long this can go for, you know, how long your sort of building area is. But um, yeah, so this is just built up. So you've got your oh, so you're so sorry, work there. So you've got your trough of water, and then you plant your the actual sort of uh, so you put your seeds down there now because I don't have a thing, I can't do that. Uh, help, stupid help. Um, <coughs> So, um, basically the way this works is it will grow and your melons will end up popping along here. There you are. So when you, so when you walk along and you see that they're all sort of built, you can just walk on to the thing. They pop up. And then you can go and collect them up. There are a few different designs where you've got some like water stopped at that end. And when you press that switch, it will it uh, using like redstone peas and stuff. It'll let water go for some like five seconds to bring all the stuff down to you. But it can, if you're not careful, it can end up removing all the redstone, and then you get water everywhere, ruining any creation you might nearby. So as for redstone, it's quite easy. It's just uh, sticky pistons. They just move it up and down, and when you move it up, it breaks it. So I'm going to go over here. I'm in creative mode, as you can see. And I'm just going to build a neat one. Uh, say it was in the floor of your house or something. And I'm just going to build a set to the ground, similar to what I have on my time grey map. Uh, so the first thing you're going to want to do is fill in some water. I'm going to get some tools. Okay, get a golden hole. Uh, I don't need water anymore. Right, so. Golden hole this side. Right, so. Um, now done this, how are we going to go? There, perfect. So we're gonna make this sort of step in and out. I'm gonna turn that at least down. That'll do. Uh, so we'll do the same inside. Just to change the pull. Oh. Oh dear. So I've got to hoe it. So the next thing we do is we lay down our sticky pistons. Suppose in a survival mode, that thing these can be quite expensive. Uh, I'm just going to set the time back to day. Uh, uh, peaceful though, yeah. Then you just lay some redstone down here. Mess down down here. And so that when these grow, they can start sort of digging. We're going to put some mud over them. Oh. Now you can build these one up, I suppose, if you wanted to. If you want them sort of in a raised bed like what you get in those. 
Um, this is just where's the other one? You know, that one was just raised up so you can see stuff. You know, it's just how many you know you dig down. Right, so now for beautification, uh, I've got building blocks, uh, and I'm going to sort of put how a floor would be on it. Uh, so I think so you can do that. So if you go around here, oh, around and. Oh, oh, fail. Fail. Um, now, I believe up there. Yes, you see, you can go for the half block. Uh, and then you put a block. Same type as the floor. You can even put some across. Oh, you can't put some across there. So then you can either put one of these or you can do the buttons to work either ones. In fact, I'll do buttons just to show you what it looks like. Uh, yes, that works. Um, oh. My dad's falling something. Uh, what I'm just going to do quickly is uh, turn off notifications. Uh, thank you anyway, though. Just the notifications there. Um, so, yeah. So that's sort of neatened up. And I mean, like, you could fill these in with the same, not buttons, but half slabs. Also, just do this while waiting for them to grow. Of course you don't want to fill up these. Another good thing about doing this is it means that like these end ones can't put it on there where there's no pistons. So I'm just going to do that so that can't happen. Uh, and I'm also going to... Just back to day one of the year. Uh, bone meal. Um, materials. Bone meal. So yeah, I can... Um, yeah. All of these. Now, this can also work for wheat, but it's not as efficient as another one. I'm going to do another time. I personally just use these for melons. Basically, the idea is you put, uh, is now you can't do it double or triple like you can do with them. You can only do just one single line, which makes it inefficient, and also you have to run up and down it. There's a much more easy way of wheat to, uh, you know, get it to you without having to run up and down these, um, which I'll do soon. Uh, now, um, basically, just put them down there, and it pops up and it breaks the weed and the seeds. Some people have it, even have it so that uh, they put like blocks, something like. up here so it spawns so that you know the melon will end up under there and when you press the button when these pop up it bounces off there and out and into the water and then they open up like the water down here sort of flow down here so you just I mean this I presume would be at the other end not this end so you can just drop in there and the law will come to you well, it's up to you. I don't. I personally have bad experience with that one. So yeah. Let me just put down some more melons. Come the bug these two. So now, uh, button. And of course, the leaf would just keep it up. Say so you only wanted. To, you know. Say you sort of. Oh, your chest is getting filled up with melons, but you're still going to need a little bit to replace the stuff you eat. You can only make one side work, you know, by just using lever and leaving this side up. But one spawn naturally. So that's alright, go on, give it. Sometimes it sort of goes through these half blocks, but most of the time it's alright. So, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. This was a um, re uh, Redstone Creations, the sort of first episode. And this was a redstone uh, melon.
pumpkin and wheat farmer. An efficient um, wheat farmer. Did I say wood farmer? Oh well guys, so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Cheerio.